Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Unfair. And it is time for us to continue escaping this hellhole. We've just found out no that we somehow need to go through the arena in order to find whatever creature um, that... Magnificent, uh, magnificent, or whatever I his name was, is unexplored. A trivial task. And we're always running into the same kind of angelic-looking creature. But to be fair, we've met so many strange people at this point. Wouldn't be surprised if that's another strange creature. Meet. The master's ordered uh, that you'd been let uh, through. When you approach, a few augments spring off and um, spring to life inside the monster's bulk. An injector hisses, filling uh, its blood with uh, compounds that cause its veins to bulge and muscles to swell. All right, I wish to pass. Interesting. Poor servants are being kept here. Let's the master gave you the permission. Well, let's see what the anatomical opera actually is. It really sounds like something where a harlequin is training for their performance. And we need to go through the arena. That's what we've been told. It would be really nice to have a full team again. Yep, we're not feeling that well. Vox Master Vigdis. Oh, we're again in one of our stupid hallucinations. Through the bars of the gate you are walking on, you see a bottomless abyss beckons you to jump in. Embrace Promise the embrace power. of the softer than feather world. Uh, softer bed than feather world. The thick curtain shoves away the surprisingly strong for a lifeless piece of fabric. Uh, there is Kunrak Voidvir on this side. Interesting. And we find ourselves in the middle of yet another strange room. Teravancius the Arc Machinator. Such disobedient specimen. You're still not dead, an anomaly. I need help, but I see you soon will become very obedient specimen. Convulsive spasms, hysterical reactions. Come here. The creature pokes you in the chest with its triangular fingernail, easily penetrating your skin. Strange sound a sop from the edge of your awareness, a sound similar to your own scream. What a nightmarish horror. A grotesque spider-like figure looms over your limbs wave frantically. You realize it's a canvas of your flesh. The Xena's uh, gaze is indifferent and his low voice echoes. The sample has been extracted. The specimen is alive. Body and mind expect to function within normal parameters. Monkey. We're, exapani except, uh, we're examining them. There is something fundamentally wrong with the Xenos' silhouette and its twitchy abrupt uh, movements. You set your mind in reeling in disgust. Each of the mechanical tools appendages seems designed to be as sickening and as horrifying as possible. Uh, are you Tervanthius? You're absolutely correct, specimen. I'm Tervanthius the Ark Machinator. Homoculus and conduct of this place. Uh, that staggers the imagination and soul, my anatomical opera. 
what happened to me? The control worm in your nervous system detected my proximity, it signaled it was dying by injecting a level dose of hallucinogenic euphorins into your bloodstream, a resourceful individual. The thing in my head is your pad. The Drukhari holds up a pale maggot, the same one you saw in uh, Marazai's hand. As you watch the tool appendages perform a swift dissection, the maggot's flesh bursts under the scalpel like claw and blossoms into a disgusting slimy flower. The Xeno's slowly manner of speaking creates an unnerving dissonance within the frantic movements of its limbs. I grew this specimen specifically for you, Monke. During your interrogation, it intoxicated your feeble senses to limit unnecessary resistance. What a curious experiment it was. I usually extract control worms from specimen posthumanly. You possess some degree of bodily fortitude. Um, which made for an unpleasant surprise for Dracon Marasai. Former Dracon, that is. That foolish whelp expected less of you and you humiliated him. I gave me something to think about, a good specimen. Um, I think I'll just say nothing. Zeno thoughtfully clicks his appendages, uh, studded with dozens of needles, uh, needle-thin stingers. Um, I offer you my gratitude for saving my life. The concept of gratitude is unclear to me, but you will work off your debt. The Arabian urged me to pay attention to your allegedly extremely gifted self-specimen. Let us see if you make a good tool. Same as you, little moth. The Xenos points in the mangled lip towards Iliad, unless, of course, the darkness of Komarag burns as fast as the others. Uh, what does this mean, Hemokolos? Who knows? Asuri, uh, Asuriane? Who knows? What do you want from me? You will return to the arena of the fatal thirst. You will kill a few witches, uh, fostering for me. You might even spill blood of one of the bloodstained uh, proselytes. They are long overdue for a small lesson in humility. Uh, humility. Then they have forgotten their place and lack respect. They do not appreciate my work. They fail to recognize my authority. Um... What do I get out of this? Coercion will be more than enough. If you disobey, I will turn you into material for my creations and ensure that you feel and are aware of every manipulation performed on your flesh. But if you do what I want and what I tell you, I will let you live for a while longer. Cooperation will increase your odds of survival as long as you continue to be of use. I will maintain your organic parts or perhaps even let you play with some of the less significant samples. Your response is acceptable. If you behave like a good specimen monkey, you may eventually receive my help in escaping. The Fleshmaster is mad enough to help us to escape in favor of his own unholy designs, but the prize Elazar will be unfair and terrible. Obedience will be rewarded. Take your crude gear with you. I uphold such technology banality, but a creature is underdeveloped as you might find use of it. As for your task, Abus and his bla bloodstained uh, prosatellites are here now in my anatomic opera. Go and look at the ones who will be your executioners when the time comes for you to die. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. It's a bit overwhelming.
let's see what else do we need i need to just go through all of uh, this nonsense here Long glasses are important, they are good. Marksman rifles aren't bad either. All right, and we collect all. The sheer primitives of your technology go specimen deliver. Tevantarius message of blood in the arena. I require you eight. You forget yourself, specimen. Go and serve the will. Should I ever decide to show you a favor, I will do so at the time of my choosing. Well... Is there anything I can offer you to repay? I will take more flesh. I can extract something far more valuable from a single shred of your organics. This does not interest me. I will not remove much of her. Her functionality will not suffer. All right. I need equipment. Uh, the servant's always dragging worthless trifles here. Oh, look at you. The wearer becomes immune to the slowed and immobilized uh, effect. That's not bad. Ten strengths, five toughness. That's good as well. And a nice little blade. That All of that is actually quite good. Come on, you're not telling me that... Chop. I need to equip every single one again. Alright, give me a moment. Alright, wow, that took way longer than I wanted it. Uh, the equipment management in this game is a bit... Yes, shall we say iffy. Uh, I was actually quite happy with how everything had been attached beforehand. Uh, we got Ulfar over here, who is this? Bars of the cage are sturdy enough to stop a tank, the fury of a post human. Singing softly under his breath, a man of enormous proportion is intently stripping raw meat from a bone with his teeth. His unwashed red hair is falling into his face. His beard is uh, matted and bloodstained and his front manchet uh, teeth look more like the fangs of any human equivalent. A less knowledgeable person might not recognize this giant humanoid but you are well aware that this is a space marine? Ooh, all for my boy. Very good. The scar tattoos of his bodies, which first appear like ex abstract and primitive uh, together, uh, form of the agriculture image of a wolf's mouth with a bare fangs. Oh, space wolves? This uh, person must be a genetic offspring of Lehman Russ, the space wolf of Fenris. Yes. Fenris Yolda Vlach. Fenris Yolda, mortal. You know the old words. Good words. Strong as a rock, sharp as the blade of a force axe, deadly as a kraken's tooth. Oh, yeah. <sighs> what do you want? Study the man. The huge body with straggly overgrown red hair perfectly suits the deep, chilling voice of this man. 
War of the Beast in the guise of a man tribal scar tattoos cover his chest, arms, back, and the glimpse of an intric, uh, intricate uh, braid uh, in the mass of his unwashed hair. His body bears so many pale scars that you cannot count them all. The muscles bulge beneath his skin like boulders. He looks like a statue carved from stone. A uh, warrior such as you could prove useful to me. <sighs> to get what you want. You will have to convince two very headstrong individuals. Me and my captor. Ah, that claw handed Sinos. Who are you? I am a wolf. I can see that. How did you come to be here? My pack answered the Inquisition's call and came to the Coronas Expanse. There was a battle. And then. The young wolves yearning to be meat for their brotherlings. To a feast of bolters they went out roving. Though they were but few, one long a fang with them went loping. Not to see them cut down by sides and clean. The pups he sent scattering. And there stood alone the path's garden. For a foe he long spied, one worthy among unworthy. The song of swords singing, they clashed with clamor and skill. Until stood the old wolf upon the bones. Then, by the birds of battle, was he brought down. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> oh, was that clear enough? This saga sounds less interesting in prose. I want that to know more Butcher about you. sent you to spy for him, did he? Or do they know nothing of the Emperor's Angels, the Space Wolves of Fenris, or the Great Layman Ross in your corner of the galaxy? You must be planning to escape, yes? And why do you want to know? Why does Hemikuglus keep you in a cage? For his own safety. When I am not busy killing inhuman spawn in the arena, the Xenos fear my will. I want to help you. For me, help. You stink of Xenos. <sighs> For his own safety. When I am not be. And why do you? A predator does not eat only when it is hungry. There are many reasons to eat. And does it taste good? I cannot recommend it. The meat of these Xenos is steeped in corruption and frailty. As well as the foul substances they inject into their blood in vast quantities. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try to join in singing. Ugh. Come on, if we could recruit him, that would be the best thing ever. Master, allow me to take the Space Marine you keep in cage. No! If you wish to continue wasting my time with your pathetic pleading specimen, pay up or get out. All you can do is grieve and pain. Well, wonderful. Obedient specimen, so be it. You have earned a few minutes of my attention. The answer is still no. 
The particular monkey specimen has phenomenal parameters. I previously studied two other specimens of the same breed, but yet have to untangle their genetic secrets. It also performs well enough in the arena. With him I would definitely succeed. Uh, surely a loss of some monkey could never impede the work of a great mind as yours. Perhaps the genetic subtype of all three uh, specimen was defect. In that case a loss of the specimen would not be significant. I recommend uh, pain as a means of pacification and you can take his armor. I found it entirely unintriguing. Good, we now have obedient specimen. Intriguing. I need your help. Um all right. Even a heretic or non-human can wet a profane blade with the blood of enemies, but a true warrior of humanity does not fight for gratification or trophies. He fights to carry out the will for the duty, as is you his blessing. You speak well. I have heard these bookish words many times before, but this is the first time I have heard them spoken with such resolve. I see that you believe in them, that you live by them. I respect that. I will help you. Let no one say that I forgot my duty to the Allfather. It seems Tervantius is not as clever as he likes to appear if he's letting me out of the cage. <laughs> the joke is on him. <laughs> Good steel I have already, but if we are going hunting, I will need my full skin. <laughs> what? No way. We got a space marine? Oh my god. Whoa. And one from the space wolves, nonetheless. Ulfar is a, spell, a space wolf, a mighty space marine. Ulfa does not use cover or conventional human armors. Ulfa's unique abilities allow him once per combat instead of losing consciousness due to having wounds instead be incapacitated. That's what I'm talking about. Powers unseen, uncover my life. No way. And the guy starts with 150 hit points. I haven't even leveled him up. <sighs> Behave. Deflection 6 power armor. Oh lord. Okay, this guy is definitely 150% going to join us in our main group. That's the best thing since the invention of Sly's Bread. Oh, and such a great weapon. Astartes Bolter. Look at that. That's 9, nine uh, shots. Oh, yeah. And that's not even a heavy weapon, isn't it? Is it or is it not? In his hands, it looks like a mini, mini me. I mean, his bolter is nuts. Relatively low rate of fire, but holy moly. Recoil 40. He has no recoil. And the guy looks like he has no remorse either. I start his combat knife just for good measures. And he has his one hand bolter. Oh boy. Um, How much persuasion does he have? 40. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll need to level him and equip him. This is too good to be true. 
All right, that again took a while, but now we got Ulf already with 170 hit points. Oh boy, we got our own first Space Marine. Well, I'm ready to kick some rear. Believe it. You better believe it. Just wondering where the rest of our team is. Alright, fabulous. So, Wolfa, by the way, super good. A lot of armor. And seems to be like the bigger and better version of Embrace Argenta, but we're going to power. see that whether or not I'm right. Let's seize the opportunity. Never doubt me. Okay. Yeah, no. We're just intriguing. Going in. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. That was the portal to the arena. Never mind. My bad. Oh, wait. One more second. The world will if I recall correctly, the commi uh, commissioner has very much um, led us into that unfortunate situation. We might want to pay him a visit and um, repay him in kind. And by that I mean completely and utterly demolish him. Good, we have a 70% chance. That's good enough. Was that supposed to be a challenge? Nice. 50-50 on demo. Sure, let's try this. I'm better myself through my service. Perfect. So, what do we have? We got ourselves a bit of equipment here. For we'll starters, a couple of grenades, but this here is nice. If the wearer gains a stack of versatility, they also gain a stack of momentum. That, for me, sounds very, very good. Because momentum is how quick we're, um, how quick we're uh, coming to heroic abilities. And this here looks great. Uh, he will get a lot of stacks of versatility and with that also momentum, so this will be good. Still not sure, by the way, if we want to use that heavy stubber here for its huge rate of fire, uh, or if we're instead going with a lower rate but much higher damage. This here looks great. I like that he can wear like all of the weapons that I think are absolutely fantastic, such as the multi melter. It's great to see that, but he's not melter specialized, the world so trembles beneath my feet. Unfortunate. Powers unseen uncover my path. I failed. Mm. Yes. My aspirations transcend. Administration is a holy task. The Good. Argenta, try path. again, please. Duty prevails. I tread a path unexplored. Cool. What do we have? When the wearer successfully dodges, they gain momentum. Ooh, that's a good helmet. Uh, wearer gains parry when using swords. Whenever the wearer parries uh, a with a sword, they immediately counter attack. That's great as well. If the wearer is an assassin, 
and successfully dodges or parries an attack automatically creates an opening really good items here so with the new coming items I think that helmet would be good for um, for Heinrichs if we ever get him back and this one here is perfect for him as well All right, cool. Embrace true power. Well, apparently we can't just get to this guy. But we can get over here because athletics 100%. Uh, that's Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, might as well take it. Save your chests about fur fleas and marked territory. I heard enough of them back on Fenris. I strike without fear or hesitation. You killed one of them in a one on one, so it can't be that difficult. All far, takes the front line. Early at a little bit further to the back, psych into here. And I think we're good, Chief. All far takes the first uh, the first round. have a free kick which is fantastic so can we heal ourselves by the way I'm just trying to figure that I'll out survive. we can and I'll that gives us survive. two stacks of versatility to start with Take his bolter shots. Wow, That's good damage. A thing comes up and hits us. Oh well, wow. how much damage did it actually deal? Toughness down to one. Devitalized. De uh, Staggered. Okay, that's not cool. If I must. All right. Mark this. I am not Open for more damage. Monkey. Good, we're hitting once. Good hit. And we're hitting a second time. If it serves your cause, ancestors guide me. And then we're just I hunting it. Your intent. Okay. Wolfgar is um, unfortunately incapacitated. I don't like that. This is unacceptable. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. <laughs> Couple of really good hits. I like that. This is why I was chosen. Fabulous. Sagan moves up. Consider yourself spared. 
No Medekai needed. Just give me some milk. Okay, well, apparently he indeed does not need medication. Um, I will try. We're giving everybody the shield of the Emperor. Purpose guides me. One step closer. As the Emperor Argenta demands, I act. Emperor. hits and hits very well. I will triumph. I need no guidance. And Saiken. It's for 200 points of damage. Fabulous. Um, if I must. Scouted. Kill. The biological creature is flailing its limbs, its body broken and bears down with signs of combat. There seems no planning to repair it. You can see the glistering flesh under the crack carapace. Um, every limb of the creature, the hard ones and the skeletal ports are flexible ones with, medical, uh, with metallic cords. It's equipped with a variety of implements similar to surgical tools. Can you understand us? The creature emits a series of wheezing sounds. Was it an answer, moan of agony, or just normal rumbling of the mechanism? Alright, what are you? The creature responds with a series of so choking and snarling sounds after a moment. Uh, you hear a message, I'm a warrior, I'm a killer. This is an engine of pain, Elatach, an executioner created by the depravity of the Twisted Cousins. And the unusual exchange. All right, finish off the creature. All right, let me level up the characters real quick. All right, I don't know how long the arena will last. I think I'll just call it quits here and we're going to do the arena the next time. That's just a cleaner cut. Elsewise, I do have long, very, very long episodes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Truly appreciate it. Uh, we got ourselves a Space Marine, which is absolutely fantastic. Look at this bad boy, Wolfar. A guy who knows no fear and no bounds. Yep. We finally made it. We got a real space marine. I'm so excited about that. And we're going to see how he fights the next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.